Hello guys. Welcome to the new tutorial, presented by HL Creations. Today we are going to do this. So let's get started. Hello guys, welcome back to fresh new video by HL Creations. In today's video I'm going to show you, how to create a very stylish and slowly looking background, inside of Adobe After Effects, which you can use as a nice background it's absolutely abstract your own unique design using this technique. So, let's jump into the video and let's get started. Okay, let's start by creating new composition. Call this main composition. This is gonna be our main composition. And I'm using 1920 by 1080 pixels. Time is up to 10 seconds. So let's create one more composition which is gonna be our gradient design. So, let's name this as gradient. And inside the gradient calm, let's select ellipse tool, and start building some random size ellipse shapes. Search the fill effect and effect and presets, and apply it onto our shape layer. You can take all the color codes in the description of the video. Drop shadow out of the shape layer. Ctrl plus Y to make a new solid layer and name it as background. And add the fill on the background layer. Place the background layer under all the other layers. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the shape layer. And scale it as what you want. Drag the gradient comp to the main composition. And cut the background layer from the gradient comp and place it under the all layers in main composition. Select the gradient composition, 
and apply the turbulence displace effect on the gradient composition. And change some more settings. Apply directional blur effect on the layer. Add twirl effect on the layer by effects and presets. Add fast blur legacy onto the layer. Lock the main comp and go to the view and create a new viewer. Double click on the new viewer and it opens the gradient comp. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Select all the shape layers and pre-compose it, and I'll call it shapes. Hit P to bring down the position and create a keyframe in the start. Go to 10 seconds and drag the shapes layer. Search for CC Reptile in the effects and the presets and apply it onto the layer. In the end it may looks like this, 